all right guys so let's actually jump into today's lesson uh, which is going to be about multiple you know being able to create multiple schedulers in your kubernetes cluster so why do you need like multiple schedulers uh, obviously the scheduler that comes with with the installation is is not working for you it's not su suiting your needs and you want to create your own scheduler service which will basically help you to schedule uh, the pods the deployments that you're going to create you know in the in the way you want actually like you don't want it to follow the algorithm that is being used by the default scheduler okay what we're going to do is that we, we're going to actually use this mini cube installation that i have mini cube cluster and i'm going to actually uh, create a scheduler using this yaml file that's provided in the documentation and what this yaml file does does for us is it creates a service account called my scheduler and it you know binds a couple of cluster roles to this service account and it creates a config map which is going to be mounted as a volume to our uh, new scheduler pod and that config map will later be used to actually start the scheduler process inside the pod okay and uh, and the deployment is basically you know it's going to create the my scheduler deployment which will create uh, which will create one replica of this pod which uses a certain image which you know in your case it could be like your own custom scheduler image right but in in my case what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at the image that is being used by the default scheduler um, so which you can find by this command kubernetes get kubectl get pods and then group system and then you have the default scheduler and then if you do get pod yaml file get and grab for the image okay obviously that's not in the the default namespace okay so here's the image that's being used by the coop scheduler pod that comes with the installation right so i'm going to make use of the same image for creating my second scheduler as well all right now so let's go ahead and actually uh, you know modify this yaml file in fact i've already done it now let's go ahead and create the scheduler as i mentioned it creates a service account uh, you know binds a couple of cluster roles creates a config map creates a deployment all good so now if you just look at the deployment in the coop system namespace there you go that's the my scheduler deployment and of course there's a pod uh, that is associated with that deployment right my scheduler pod now uh, to actually uh, to make sure that we know how to use this scheduler and not the default scheduler uh, what I have is actually I have a little pod YAML file and that's actually like I just got it from the Kubernetes documentation as well. So it, all it does is actually it uses um, a typical pod spec, but main thing is it uses the scheduler name key to actually assign this pod to my scheduler uh, pod, right? so not the actual not the default one if you don't specify anything this pod will be scheduled by the, the default scheduler if you specify the scheduler name it will be scheduled by the the one that you specify okay all right so now go ahead and apply this one over here so now if you look at the the events that are happening in my cluster uh, basically it's going to schedule um, this particular pod uh, you know to my mini cube cluster right so and and it's 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 happening actually so that's basically the point and that's how actually you change uh, you know which scheduler to be used okay but i hope that was useful okay i'll and check out my kubernetes playlist and you'll find all those videos useful i'll see you guys in a different video and see you